What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video we're continuing our 12 part series on advanced BIM analysis with the Bexel Manager. Uh, now this is going to be part 3 and we're going to be talking about clash detection. Uh, now if you haven't caught up with the first two episodes, uh, basically this uh, is a set of videos sponsored by the Bexel Manager where we're going to be exploring all of the advanced and complex topics uh, in the world of of BIM analysis. Uh, the whole idea behind this was for me to team up with uh, experts who are actually doing this in real life, testing everything out on actual very large and complicated projects and bringing this presentation where we slowly go step by step and explore all of these uh, complex topics. So I'm learning a lot along the way and I'm really exciting, uh, excited about these. Uh, and uh, as I said, today we're covering clash detection. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Today we will go through the validation of model geometry and we will be focusing on the process automation using configuration documents. In the previous two lessons, we've focused primarily on analysis based and on data layer of the BIM model, and we've learned about usage and benefits of custom color coding breakdowns, data verification, and data enrichment, as well as quantity takeoffs. In case you've missed them, you will find the links to these videos in the description below or in the cards above. Before we start, I really recommend a fresh new Bexel webinar that was streamed live a few days ago, held by BIM professionals. They talked about digital transformation and the advanced 3D, 4D, and 5D BIM analysis with the Bexel Manager. The link to these, uh, this two-hour session is in the description of this video. A quick reminder, in case you don't have the Bexel Manager software, you can always request a one-month free trial, and you will automatically get access to the Bexel user area where you can find a range of educational materials and sample models. For the first part of this video, I will use a high-rise sample as I did in the previous two lessons. And now, clash detection. Within the Bexel Manager, there are main types of clash analysis, hard, clearance, duplicates, and also one more, a very interesting type, containment, useful for zoning and detecting elements within the room, space, or any other container element. The hard clash will detect the intersection between two elements' geometry, for example, when we have a duct going through a beam. Clearance or soft clash will detect an element or that an element is going through the necessary buffer area around the other element. The duplicate clash type will detect elements with the same geometry in the same place. The containment clash will be covered in detail in the continuation of this video. Clash detection workflow is quite simple, but there are a few time-consuming steps for clash creation. Uh, creation of selection sets for a group of elements that will be conf confronted, creation of clash matrix, and in the end, clash jobs creation according to the matrix. Bexel recognizes uh, these issues and it offers automation of these processes using configuration documents for smart selection sets and clash detection job matrix. As we can see, these steps in the workflow are automated and from the beginning, the user is saving a lot of time. The next steps are running clash detection jobs and generating clash results. After that, the user will fine-tune the results and prepare a report. Fine-tuning and analyzing results is the most time-consuming step. Even this part of the workflow is made more efficient with Bexel Manager and options for autom automatically grouping clashes. Okay, I will go to the Bexel user area first, and then I will download the selection set configuration document as well as the clash detection matrix. I have opened up the high-rise building that was downloaded from the Bexel user area. 
As I have explained, for clash detection workflow, the first step is the creation of selection sets that will be used in the clash jobs. So let's import selection set configuration document with already pre uh, predefined rules for selection set creation. This add-in is available on the Bexel user area within the folder add-ins. Let's take a look at how the template looks like. The configuration document has three columns for selection set automated creation. BIM elements will be grouped into a selection set within a defined folder according to the defined rules. Rules are based on element properties. This way, user will automatically create all selection sets at once and will be uh, further used in the clash detection matrix and checked for uh, mutual, uh, mutual conflicts. Depending on the project, rules can be fine-tuned as well as folders and selection set names. Okay, so let's import the selection set template. Selection sets are automatically imported and elements are distributed into selection sets based on defined rules. Now we have selection sets of elements and we will check the collisions between them. For example, let us isolate MEP or structural elements. The next step will be creating selection set jobs according to the clash matrix. If we click on new job, we can use selection set as left and right clash detection group, define clash type, tolerance, name, and so on. And we should do this for every single clash job, right? Well, let's automate this part as well. Using the clash detection matrix configuration document, defining and creating clash jobs is no longer a time-consuming task. Configuration documents can be adjusted and reused on other projects. I will now import the template, also previously downloaded from the user area, by clicking on the template button within the clash detection module. Before import, let's open this document and see how it is configured. We can notice that this configuration document recognizes all rules that can be defined within the Baxel Manager and Clash Detection job window. But this way, user is able to define and import all Clash jobs at once. The first column defines the Clash job name and uh, optionally priorities of clashes, then left and right clash detection groups based on selection sets previously imported also as a template. The next column specifies clash type, then tolerance, and at the end should uh, elements within the same group be excluded or included in the clash result. As I said, this is just an example. The user can modify this template according to the project's needs, uh, change it, and then import the file in the Backcell Manager. Uh, I have to mention that all jobs uh, additionally added or uh, changed in the Backcell Manager can be exported as a new template and the user will get an Excel file configured just like this one, updated with new or modified rules or sets. Okay, now let's import the template. All clash jobs are imported and listed within the clash job list. If we open one of them, we can see that the rules from the Excel table are mapped within the current clash job. By clicking on the Update All button, we are running all imported clash jobs at once. Clash jobs are updated and we can see a list of clash pairs. Activating Clash View Mode and selecting all clashes within the Clash job user can see all collisions within the active job. Clash View Mode has several options for rendering, clashing, and other elements. Also, user can filter clashes according to certain rules. Now, fine-tuning the process within the Backcell Manager is also automated by grouping option. Of course, uh, there is a possibility to manually group selected clash pairs, but besides that, there are advanced options that will group selection by element IDs. I will explain this process.
Group Inclusive Single Group option will group all clashes with elements that have IDs included when the, uh, within the selection. Even if the clash pair with an ID of that element is not selected. As you can notice, I have selected three clash pairs with the same ID and created a group uh, that uh, has included additional clash pair. Another option is Group Inclusive multiple groups. The difference from the single group option is that the system will generate multiple groups by element IDs. So if we select, uh, for example, all clashes within clash job and click group inclusive, multiple uh, choose left side elements, which are beams uh, in this example, uh, we can see that all clashes are automatically grouped. All or selected issues can be exchanged with other stakeholders using BCF Manager by simply dragging and dropping results into the BCF window. The user is then able to add additional information, synchronize and send issues to other stakeholders. The other option is to exchange clash results with an exchange tool within the Bexel Manager. Now let's switch to another job. Select all results. We can notice that this job has many individual results and in the user interface we can conclude that there are more or less a few clash zones. Group inclusive multiple groups with automatically group clashes based on cable tray IDs. And now within a second we can see that the clashes are distributed in only four groups. Now it's easier to analyze clashes, change statuses, and so on. User can overview clash results, export the results to Excel, and use export the data for further analysis. Also, user can export uh, reports as PDFs or HTML files for the current selection, clash jobs, or all clash jobs. These are just an example of the reports. And at the end, export to Power BI. Within the Power BI report, clash results can be analyzed for the whole project or within selected floors, clash jobs, buildings, categories, and so on. The report uh, is uh, interactive, includes charts, key numbers, distribution of clashes per category and jobs, and so much more. Now, I will show you another useful workflow within the Clash Detection module, Containment Clash. As I said in the beginning, Containment Clash is useful for zoning and detecting elements within the room, space, or any other container element. Workflow is pretty much the same as for any other clash types. Uh, the main difference is that clashes are automatically grouped by container element. After running the clash job and getting the results, the user can enrich BIM elements uh, contained in the clash job within uh, relations, for example, contained in the room. These relations can be added to elements as a priority using API script available also on the user area and uh, be further analyzed within the software using color-coded system breakdown. Finally, added properties can be exported and imported back in the authoring tool. I will show you this workflow on the office building model. First, I will open up the selection set template. Uh, for this example, I only need the containment selection sets, so I will delete the other ones. Take a quick look back at the model. In the element structure, we can notice that this model doesn't contain any contain an MEP system, and there is an additional category, furniture systems. So I will delete the selection set that uses MEP elements and add to furniture selection set category, furniture systems. Now I will import the template in the Bexel model. Selection sets are imported successfully. 
Let's isolate these groups of elements and switch the Building Explorer tab to make sure that the changes in Excel are done correctly. The added category is now part of the furniture selection set. Now let's adjust the clash detection template and import only containment clash jobs. I will delete all clash jobs that are not containment clash and leave only jobs that use selection sets that we've imported. Let's import clash jobs. Clash jobs imported successfully. Now let's update all Clash jobs to generate results. All elements contained in one space are automatically distributed into groups named by rooms. And we can see now contained elements by clicking on Clash groups. Now select all contained elements which are on the right side in the Clash job. And check their relations. Let's set relation contained in the room to selected elements. Isolate these elements and check is relation applied to the elements. Now I will repeat the process for the other two clash jobs. So I will select elements, set relations and check elements. This way uh, we can detect and enrich all elements in the building that belong to a specific zone defined by space and zone project for the construction phase, uh, for example. Let's isolate all contained elements in these jobs to show you one more feature useful for zoning and analysis, and that is element enrichment with relation property. I will select all visible elements and enrich selected elements with property contained in the room by using script available on the Bexel user area. Run API console, import script and just click execute button. In the properties tab we can notice property contained in the room uh, and we can click on uh, view value of the property. We can see a list of all rooms in the project. Added properties can be exchanged and sent back to the authoring tool. Click on the export button, select property which you want to export, uh, in this case contained in room. Properties are exported in Excel file format and with add-in available on the Bexar Manager site, user is able to import this uh, Excel and enrich authoring tool. I have opened the office building in Revit and let's import properties from the Bexel Manager. Click on add-in, import properties, choose file and hit insert. And that's it. Let's select one uh, element from the furniture category and check the property. In the end, I will go back to the Bexel Manager and create a color-coded system breakdown using previously created property to analyze the project on another level. Switch to 3D color-coded view and visualize the results. And that's pretty much it for today. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please tell me in the comment section below, did you like this video? Uh, and do you plan on perhaps integrating what you have learned in this video in your workflow in future projects? Uh, now with this video, we're kind of concluding the, uh, we're concluding the analysis for the design phase. And then in the future videos, we will be concentrating and focusing on the, the, on the planning and the construction phase, with integrated 4D and 5D BIM uh, by using the Bexel Manager. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. And also, I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.